You're watching right now some B-roll of the Wise thermostat I reviewed over a year ago. And if you possess the power of eagle eyes, you might notice that under the Wise branding, there's this name, Degree with Two Eyes. Apparently, Wise collaborated with Degree with Two Eyes on that device. Now, fast forward almost two years, wouldn't you know it, I get a call from Degree with Two Eyes informing me that they have a new high-tech affordable thermostat system coming soon, sometime in early 2023. The simply named Degree Smart Thermostat and Remote Sensor. They wanted me to tell you what I think about this piece of kit after testing this for a few weeks now. And by the way, this is a pre-release unit, but in this video, nonetheless, we'll look at what's hot and what's not. And I'll even show you how easy it is to install. So if you're curious about this latest budget smart thermostat system, stay tuned after these messages that way. Let's run through some quick specs here. This thing retails for $115. You get a degree thermostat, a remote sensor, uh, a CWA connector, basically that connects your compressor unit and also your furnace with your wiring for your smart thermostat. And also the whole installation kit, it's quite comprehensive. It only comes in one colorway, unfortunately. I wish there was white or something. And also some kind of backplate would have been nice because some homes have different holes that they might want to hide or something. But as it is right now, this is what they have. Uh, there is a 3.4 inch LCD display over at the front here on the main unit. The remote sensors don't have backlight on their LCDs. What you see is what you get right here, just like a good old Timex watch. In terms of size, this thing is 14 and a half centimeters long, about eight centimeters tall and two centimeters deep. And here you can see all the pin connections. There is a back plate over here too that goes onto your wall and this attaches to that and hides your wires as well. Uh, there is a button right here and also another button. These are capacitive. They are not like swipe gesture or anything and there is no touch screen. In terms of installation time, the company uh, quotes it about 15 minutes. I got it on my wall much faster than that. But again, it depends on your home. The company also claims that this is compatible with 95% of all HVAC systems available out there. The remote sensors are pretty unique as well. They basically create uh, microclimates as you go from room to room. So if you prefer one room colder or hotter, you can use this to adjust it using this plus minus right here. Yeah, you can adjust the temperature with this. There's also a humidity sensor built in. The display does cycle through different uh, displays or information as you go. Here you can see the Bluetooth strength as well as the battery life and in the middle here, here is right now it's turned on you can see motion detection yes this thing has a motor motion detection uh, right behind this window right here so say if your system is off at night and if someone comes down to hang out in a dining room uh, this if you have the feature turned on it will turn on the system to keep that room uh, cold or warm depending on your setting so you know once it's occupied it will turn it on uh, at the back here you let me pull this off and show you what it is real quick it's magnetized. Here are some magnets. You can stick this on the wall. It also runs off batteries right here. Uh, and here is the sensor uh, right there. Uh, this entire unit also they claim it has or gives you up to like 37% savings on energy bills. I wish I can test that out because I've had this only for less than a month. Uh, I ideally would have liked this, like to do this long term and tell you if that claim is true or not. Upgrading to a degree thermostat couldn't be easier, I'll tell you what. Now, if your home has an older system still, like a mercury thermostat, there's no common wire, or you may have heard the term C wire thrown around, they're really the same thing. And what a C wire is, it sends a continuous low 24 volts to power your smart thermostat. So if you don't have that already, you can either run it yourself, and it's really easy to do it with a DIY fishing kit, or if you're not sure, just hire an electrician, and it's cheap too, or should be because the hole is pre-existing they just need to run new cables through it if you're fortunate enough to already have the wires in your home the install takes under eight minutes it's pretty darn fast including the app setup in fact let me show you how i did it for my downstairs install and if you think i've sped up the film uh, -uh you'd be wrong because i'm just that fast The app visuals and the whole layout of it all make it pretty easy to find what you need at a glance and Degree seems to be committed to improving it over time. Scheduling, thank goodness, has been reliable as well with the transitions between set temperatures, off, coasting and so on and so forth being smooth without driving the system into OCD mode. You know, like making your compressor or furnace working overtime more so than necessary. 
If you're familiar with the Nest or Wise app interfaces, it'd be pretty easy to grasp the Degree app after using it a couple of days at most. Here's a quick look at the app, guys. It's really pretty straightforward. Like here at the home screen at the top, you have the temperature, the humidity, and also the running status of your system. So the background color of the circle right here will change according to the mode you're in. Like in this case, let me force it up a little bit. It will turn orange for heat. I don't have cooling because there's no need for that here in Maine. So the only modes you see in the middle are off and heat. If you have cooling, obviously there will be a cooling button right there. You saw me use the temperature slider at the bottom right here. You can force the system and hold it there if you like. But the system would also remind you there is an upcoming scheduled temperature change at 830. You can cancel it and just keep holding it at 65 degrees in this case if you like to. Uh, below that is the saving goal card. If you tap the at here, basically it will tell you how many percent power you're saving uh, based on your settings. But if you tap the pencil icon at the top right here, it'll take you directly to scheduling. Now, it would have been nice to have uh, an option to add more time slots. Right now, there's only four. Um, scheduling can also be accessed right here. If you go back to the home screen, tapping the gear icon, you see saving goal and schedule. It will take you back there as well. Now, back out one screen under settings, you can also lock out the thermostat. Uh, so only the, uh, it's adjustable through the app. But it would also be nice to see more granular control for that too, such as by individual remote sensors or people with shared access via the app. One last main thing I wanted to show you is back at the home screen next to the gear icon is what they call the remote thermostat icon. And here you can set your cold and hot spots and prioritize which temperature sensor you want. Like, do you want the system to average out all the sensors or do you want to focus on one sensor alone in say the coldest part of your house? Here are a few cool things about the remote or a satellite sensor. You can adjust the temperature directly on the front panel right here. So if you're too cold or too hot in another room, grab the sensor and adjust away. Actually, it might be too good of an idea because then everyone will be adjusting the temperature all the time. You know, like in your office, everyone's just fiddling with the temperature. Dad, Kurt, what's going on in here? Why is it so hot? Someone fiddled with the thermostat. What? It would be nice to implement a lockout schedule of some kind here. So degree if you're listening. On the back of this unit, there's a little leg that you can use to prop it upright on any kind of flat surface. If you rather have the display be a little bit more angled, you can rotate the leg 180 degrees and voila. Now, if you rather have this on a wall, you can do that too because guess what guys, the back of this is magnetized. So all you have to do is find a good metal surface, stick it on and it's good to go. In this next segment, we usually talk about my dislikes. But because this is a pre-release unit, I'm going to be nice here. I'm going to shut off my usual critical self. But however, I will mention some of the more significant bugs or kings that I found at the time of filming. And then hopefully by launch, they will have that all solved and figured out. So without further ado, here's my list. I'm used to having motion sensors on head units or the face plates like the one on the Wise thermostat. The degree doesn't have one, so the screen is always dark. You have to basically walk up to it each time to manually activate the display by pressing one of the buttons. The plastic over the display has dimples. I like dimples for the most part. People like dimples, usually on babies, but not here. There seems to be four distinct ones here on each corner of my unit, and it really kind of makes it look cheap. One of the biggest source of frustration for me during my test time has actually been with the remote satellite sensor, which seems to prefer hibernating to conserve battery over communicating its readings more frequently to the main unit. The other thing that I really wish it had was some kind of backlit LCD for low light or nighttime viewing. Because many of you can remember how hard it was to read your LCD Casio or Timex watches in the dark, right? Yeah, same thing here. It would also be nice to see some kind of long-term usage report in the app because as it is right now, they have this how green is your setting kind of deal, but it would be nice to have more data to track your consumption from days to weeks to months or years, or more importantly, be able to use that data to tweak your schedule as needed. You know, for the price, the degree thermostat and remote sensor set is quite competitive. In terms of features and also ease of installation and setup as well, the company has done their homework for the most part anyway, and continues to smooth out the kinks as quickly as us testers report them. It's actually pretty impressive to watch. The build quality is solid. The tech support is super fast. Design wise, well, the shiny black slab right here personally isn't for me. Some of you may like it. 
I mean, it would have been fine if there is some kind of always on option to keep the fascia interesting to look at all the time because yeah, ideally a motion sensor would have done the trick here, but at this point, the hardware is all locked down. I can only hope for some kind of always on toggle in the app. But with all that said, I'm still giving the Degree Smart Thermostat and Remote Sensor Set a strong gear up score of 8.1 out of 10. And this is how I broke it down to get the final score. If you have any questions about how I got there, feel free to comment down below. Well, that's it for this video. I'm calling it, we're ending it right now. You could have been doing something else altogether, but the fact that you're watching this, I really appreciate you also props to you for that. And remember to thumbs up if you like this video, show your support and support the community as well. Comment nicely down below, smash and kill and smack that subscribe button down below like it's been naughty. And also visit me on Patreon or use the super thanks button if you'd like to drop a tip, buy me a cup of coffee or tea or something like that. That'll be super nice. I also like chocolate with marshmallows, so there you go. So come back next time. Remember to do something loving and kind for somebody in this world, guys, because guess what? If you haven't seen the news or read it, yeah, the world needs it more than ever, and it starts with you. Peace out. I love you all very much. I'll see you the next time.